Hey guys, it is LMAO Nade here, casting uh, for LMAO StarCraft, and uh, today I have a match between Nurchio, spawning in the bottom left corner, versus Real, spawning in the top right corner. Um, and uh, I picked this game because these are two players that I'm not too familiar with, except for the fact that Nurchio just won the Home Story Cup, which was a, a tournament that happened uh, at in Takes uh, Studio Apartment in Germany, um, and it was actually pretty cool. They had a, uh, a stream going on on Twitch TV for a couple days, um, where there were a bunch of dudes just hanging out playing StarCraft for a tournament for uh, 25 grand, which is pretty awesome. Um, and that was pretty fun to watch, uh, you know, during my breaks at work, you know, chilling at home, things like that. Um, but uh, Nurchio ended up winning the whole thing, which is um, uh, pretty awesome. Kudos to him. It was his first major tournament. Uh, if we can call that a major tournament, I think we can. Big offline event over in Germany. Uh, Nurchio is from Poland, and uh, I expect to see him doing some more big things on the scene here. So, never seeing him before, I would say I'm kind of excited to see what his play style is like and what he likes to do. Um, so, I might be posting a few more videos up of him. Um, and then, uh, about Real, I'm not too familiar with, uh, with Real specifically, so... We'll see uh, what he does as well. Um, we do have a, a spawning pool going down at the eve, around the two-minute mark, for Nurchio, and uh, he's going to try to deny this this pesky probe here. And uh, at the same time, it seems real is getting down that pylon, so it looks like he's going for an early forge, fast expand, banking up that money for that nexus to throw down a forge, maybe a gateway, and uh, just secure that second base um, from Nurchio. But that may be difficult considering Nurchio is going for their spawning, spawning pool first instead of a hatchery. So there, that nexus I bet is going to go down right about now. There it goes, um, right here. So, uh, Real's just gonna start m mining some minerals here, get that second base up. In the meantime, the spawning pool is gonna finish, and we do have some kind of little scuffle going on here. Um, it looks like Nurchio's gonna decide to go for the hatchery, which, never mind, he builds a queen and a couple zerglings. So, four zerglings getting out for Nurchio, and he's got the 300 minerals back already. He's gonna throw that hatchery down, he has to. Yeah, so there that goes. In the meantime, Forge, Gateway. Another pylon going down for real. So, both players, it uh, looks like we're going for a macro game. Um, we're going to be bringing this overlord, looks like, um, in the back here to see if we can spot these what these geysers are doing. And then, I um, thought I saw another overlord poking around. Oh, he's just chilling above this base here. He should probably move that guy pretty soon, considering there's a photon cannon going up. Um, and then reels just poking around. Looks like, oh, Nurchio's going for a third expansion. Instead of trying to sneak in there early, he's going to try to out-macro his opponent. Um, and he's got really crazy map control. Look how active he is around the map. Um, that's uh, that's pretty awesome for Nurchio to have that um, early game awareness to just keep it going. Ooh, that Overlord's going to get shot a couple times. He's going to escape, though, for sure. Especially with that increased Overlord speed recently that I've noticed. Um, that Overlord should be able to get out of there. So in the production tab, we got a zealot coming coming out of here, chrono boosting the ze a zealot, and another one. And where's that zealot going? All the way across the map to the third to see what's going on um, at that base. But we do have a couple of zerglings just roaming around the map. Um, if all of them are grouped up, nah, that, that zealot will still probably win. But quick drone transfer here. So there's something I noticed that um, looks like Real likes to just bring his probes. One by one, down to the space. He doesn't do any kind of probe transfer or anything like that. Excuse me, that's my phone. Um, and uh, there's that zealot showing up. Ooh, these earlings are not going to be able to win this one. But that zealot's not going to be able to do that much damage. Maybe five zerglings can do a lot of damage. Six zerglings. So, we're going to get a surround on that one. Looks like it. Awesome. These zealots should go down. Maybe, yeah, both of them would, for sure. And a queen there is definitely going to help clean that up. Sorry about you. Last as long as you can, you're dead. And in third zealot, I wonder if this is just a miss rally, because these just just giving them free units now. Oh, a third base going down for real as well. Oh my gosh, this is just going to be one just ridiculous macro game. Um... I believe this tournament was from the GSL. Um, I don't know anything more than that, but I don't think this base is going to get up. I think I feel like these Zerglings are going to come in here and do some damage. Um, they need to take out that, that cannon as soon as possible, though. 
Will he be able to do it? Another cannon. Oh, that one's canceled, and this one's going to go up and just die immediately. More Zerglings running in from Nurchio, and uh, there's no answer for real, who just went all macro game, not expecting this. Three bases mining for Nurchio, and he's still able to get the aggression on this third Protoss base. I think the Protoss real just got a little too greedy there, and he's going to lose his base pretty quickly. Um, we do have, wow, four gateways going down. And this overlord's going to jet right out of here. And these... Ooh, he's not going to attack with these zerglings. Instead, he's just going to poke in. See what he can see. He might be able to sneak by. Oh, no. Sneak by. I wanted to sneak by into the base while that, uh, yeah, while that cannon was distracted. But didn't get any valuable scouting information. Although he did see all of these gateways here. All he would have seen were these two pylons. So maybe it wasn't too crucial for him to try to sneak in. But... Oh, Nurchio has a huge edge in this game. A lot of money invested in the Reels economy that isn't going to come to fruition because of that lost third base. In the meantime, oh my gosh, 32 Zerglings in production, and Speed is going to finish up here in a couple seconds. Um, we're going to have a huge Zergling bus coming in here, and Banelings being morphed in. Where are those Banelings? There they are. So a big Baneling bus coming in here, and I don't see if, how Reel could uh, defend against this. This probe is going to die pretty quickly. Um, so... This could be a quick game here. Um, for real, Nurchio is just going to start waltzing in, bringing in his, his Zerglings. Gateway is just going to finish up right here, so he might get a big wave of units, but it might just not be enough. Oh, wow. All of his Banelings went into the, the Forge, and they all died, so it's just Zerglings now. He might be able to force field all these Zerglings until he can get enough units on the map. Wow. Not bad microing at all from real. But it, there's just too many Zerglings here. And these probes are going to have to get into the mix of things. These sentries are going to go down. They are out of energy for force fields. It's being surrounded by these Zerglings. Ooh, if we can keep the probes in front. No, six more Banelings coming in here. They're just going to lay the pain on these probes. Oh, too many probes going down. And a couple of Banelings here bump, bumping into these Zealots, killing them too. So huge damage taken by Real. And we have just forces just flowing in from Nurchio as he thinks he's got this game in the bag. More Banelings being morphed in. So production tab is out of control for Nurchio compared to to Real, who's just building two Void Rays, two Stargates. Oh, he just decided to go for some, <laughs> some big expansion stuff into some tech stuff. And Nurchio is just going to say, well, I'm just going to come at you with a lot of stuff. Here it comes. And uh, he's going to be coming in here with more Banelings, taking out these pylons, denying th all of the production buildings here. And I don't see how Real is going to be able to respond from this. Two Void Rays is not enough to take out all of these Zerglings before they can just lay waste on his economy and his production buildings. Um, I'm expecting a GG here pretty quickly. But uh, these probes are going to take a lot of damage before these Void Rays can clean them up. Wow. Pretty decisive game so far from, from Nurchio. He's just finishing up another hatch here. Looks like this could be a macro hatch here in his main. Roachworn finishing up, and he's coming in with just another wave of an absurd amount of Zerglings. Uh, oh, Real might be able to sneak out with a couple of Void Rays, but I don't see that how that's going to change much of anything as another wave of Zerglings come in here. He's going to get a couple units being warped in. Warped in. I've been watching too much Star Trek. Warped in. Um, but it's just too many too many Zerglings to deal with. Um, these pylons will eventually go down here. Oh. In the meantime, these Void Rays aren't even attacking the base and the good game by rail. So, um, some final thoughts on this game. Um, quick expansions by Nurchio and was able to keep the pressure on. I'm not sure why Real went for the Stargates here when he just needed stuff, really. Um, he was down, and he decided to tech. So, this was uh, LMAO Nade casting LMAO StarCraft. I hope you guys enjoyed the cast, and I'll be uh, putting up some more videos in the days to come. Thanks for tuning in, guys.